Hey, what's going on? I hope you are feeling too blessed to feel stressed. And uh, if you're wondering why I look a little bit uh, familiar, it's because I just finished recording just measly seconds ago, a video talking about all the cool, fun, hobby related stuff that I managed to snag for Christmas this year, whether it be through gifts or purchases of my own. And that was stuff like my love for throwing Frisbees in the park and you know, Funko Pops and of course, Kendamas and Kendama related toys, but all of that stuff is in that other video. So let's not uh, drear on it any longer because we are here for the Lego fans, Lego lovers, and those with at least a smidge of interest in the Lego. So I'm gonna run you through a couple of these sets I got this year, my plans for them, why I love them, why I don't hate them, because they're all great, and uh, anything else that I feel fitting. I think uh, we'll go in order of size because no matter what they tell you, matters. We'll start off with the last Marvel mech that I needed to complete the full 2021 lineup of Marvel mechs. We have the Miles Morales. It's a little bit dark back there, but they're on display at the top of the shelf. We have the Miles Morales, we have the Captain America, and now we have the Thor. And I just love these for kind of a completeness because the mechs are an easy uh, kind of line to complete. And B, because I love the minifigs. It's a great way, it's kind of like a Star Wars battle pack. It's a great way to get the figures. So I got the Thor, the Cap, the Miles Morales for like, you know, these are relatively inexpensive. And uh, it's a great little add-on to the display. Love to have these. And yeah, that's the Thor Marvel mech is first and smallest of the Lego haul. Next up is actually our only Star Wars set this year, which is interesting because last year I made a video like this and it was like, I think it was all Star Wars sets, but uh, this year, you know, I started watching all the Marvel movies, Spider-Man was coming out. So this year definitely leans heavier towards the Marvel side. We do have a Star Wars set right here and that is the simple humble duel on Mandalore. So we've got the Ahsoka and the Maul. I, this, I love these for the same reason that I love the Marvel mechs. They're a great way to get great figures at a good price. You know, if you're looking for a way to get Ahsoka, you don't have to buy that big $45, $50, whatever it is, uh, AAT, ATT, whatever that set is called, you don't need to go that far to get Ahsoka now. You can get this little duel. I mean, the build is a little underwhelming, maybe. Maybe it's time for another alternate build of a Star Wars set. We'll see where this goes, but mostly a little display desk piece to shove into that cabinet, get the figures, and uh, it's gonna be a fun build regardless. Oh, finally, we're home safe in uh, the Marvel zone once again. Another one of the smaller sets. Again, this is, rings true for all these sets. Great figures with a small set. And that is the Black Panther Dragon Flyer. My girlfriend picked this up for me alongside a Lego gift card, which I mean, you'll have to stick around to see where that money goes, but uh, the Lego the Lego flow never ends and they say you can't have too much Lego, but we're quickly running out of space. So stick around for that journey if you have any interest. But the Dragonflyer from Black Panther, I love the design of the ship actually, for like a small set. It's got some great jaggedy details and um, you know, I'm really satisfied with the build. It's not just like a little junky build that, oh, you just get the figures and then the build, pull. I think this is gonna look really good on display, especially next to one of the sets we have coming up that is also going to be displayed flying through the air. The Black Panther Dragonflyer, get the Black Panther, the Shuri, is that her name? Yeah, Shuri. And then a Shatari, just to add some conflict, not that he's gonna be able to do much against this big Dragonflyer. There's no need for me to do that, I apologize. <laughs> but uh, yeah, another one of these small sets that is going to just fit so, oh, greatly into the collection. Okay, second to last, we have a pretty large and exciting set that is, it's gotta be retiring soon. This set came out in 2019 or 2018, I believe. So it is on the edge of its life. It's hanging on the edge of glory. And uh, I'm very, very happy that I was able to be uh, gifted this from my wonderful grandmother. If you're out there, you don't, you don't even have internet. You're not out there. But uh, yeah, that is the Iron Man Hall of Armor. I know we've all seen this set on the shelves and looked at it and said, I wish that was like $30 cheaper. But regardless, we have it in our hands now. It comes with, you know, of course, four of the Iron Man suits, the Mark One, the Mark Five, the Mark 41, and the Mark 50. And this is actually gonna be the first set that I have that uh, has the Iron Man with the like the actual flip up helmet, which is like hundreds of times better than the newer style helmet that just 
you know, looks kind of squished and doesn't move around. So I'm super excited just for the figures. And then the whole Hall of Armor display is gonna wrap around nicely, maybe where I have the Marvel mechs on the shelf. Who knows, it's gonna need a lot of work, the display shelf. So that's gonna be a whole new battle after we start getting some of these built up. But yeah, the Iron Man Hall of Armor includes Igor too, which goes along with the mechs. I think it's just a perfect little display set. And it's exciting for all these suits. I mean, especially that Mark 41, the black and gold bumblebee looking, oh. But as we set this aside, we need to make room. Well, I mean, we have room, but we need to make way and roll up the red carpet for the biggest set and most exciting set. They're all the most exciting. This one's just, you know, 100.1 <laughs> most exciting set that, uh, that we got this year. Shout out, shout out to the family who uh, came through as always with ooh, two hands, you need two hands. The 2021 Marvel Avenger, Avenger? Guardians of the Galaxy. What's it actually? It's called the Guardian ship, but it's the Benditor. If you know uh, anything Marvel related, you know that this ship's called the Benditor. It's kind of a Boba Fett starship deal, but uh, in the Marvel forefront. So this is the Benditor, also known as the Guardian ship. Comes with a whole bunch of the Guardians, and it actually here. Uh, maybe I can spin this around. It uh, I know tragic tragic tape damage on the box, but uh, we'll have to get over crying about that. Uh, it comes with like a nice display stand, so it's almost like a UCS style Marvel set, which is, oh, which is just dope. And the only fear I have about this set is that I don't know if it's gonna fit. I was like on lego.com, specifications, height 35 centimeters by, and I had the measuring tape shh, going through the display cabinet, and I'm stressing about where this is gonna fit, but we're gonna make it work. It's such a gorgeous ship, like both in universe and in Lego. And uh, the way it's come together, I think it's fantastic. I love tons of the characters in their classic outfits. I know some of the Marvel sets come with them in their like end game, back to the future suits, but uh, the classic characters I love. The Guardian ship, it's gonna look fantastic on display. It's gonna be an awesome build. And it's beautiful, I'm in love. I did that, I did that a couple times today already. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. That's all of the, <laughs> Lego that uh, made it under the Christmas tree and down the chi well down the chimney and under the Christmas tree rather if we're going in order this year and uh, yeah I'm just happy to share it with you if you have any interest in Marvel or Star Wars or Harry Potter or Ninjago or Lego ideas there's so many themes if you want to get into Lego I can't recommend enough sitting down and building a Lego set will change your life maybe not but uh, to me it's really enjoyable I love building it and displaying it and uh, happy to share it with you. So thanks for checking this out. If you wanna see some sets or some alternate builds in the future, they might come out. If you wanna see all that other hobby related stuff that I got for Christmas, that'll be in another video. Probably came out before this one. I don't really know. My life's kind of a mess right now, but uh, regardless, appreciate you. You're looking good. You're looking fine. I see you. Later.